Hi everyone, welcome back. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the spin cast reel. Remember the, the, the spin cast reel has the reel on top of the rod. The rod has this little trigger down below. The spin cast has this button. This could not possibly be any easier. You press the button, the line runs out. Simple as that. Spin cast is really, really good for people just getting into fishing. Maybe if you have kids or you're taking kids fishing, this is a great outfit to start with. To use the, the, the rod, I recommend start, starting to use a sidearm cast. Sidearm casts are generally much easier. You don't get in trouble as much with the sidearm cast and it, so just watch. I press the button, I bring the rod back, and make my cast. Once I start turning the crank, it engages the line and starts to bring the line on. One thing I like to do is to take my index finger and put it right under the line. Two reasons. Number one, if a fish hits and I don't see it, I can usually feel it. Number two, especially with spin casts, the line has to be under continuous tension to be retrieved. If you continue to turn the crank without the line under tension, you can end up with a bird nest in here. So to guard against that, I always have a little bit of tension on that line as I'm bringing it in. If you want to do an overhand cast, it is simple. Press the button, bring it back, and just as if you were throwing a baseball, softball, darts, whatever, at the point that you would normally release that ball, you release the button and the line goes out. Personally, I like the sidearm cast. I stay out of trouble that way. Another technique you can use with a spin cast is to press the button, release it, now you have full control of that line. You can use your other hand to control that line and make your cast. I find that I'm a little more accurate that way because I can control the precise time that I release the line. And remember, the line is going to go wherever that rod tip is pointed. Tension on the line as I reel back in. and we're ready to go again. Couldn't be simpler. When you get a hit, you set the hook, well, you just reel, and the little winch in here brings the line in, brings your fish in, and you can release them, as we've talked about uh, previously. So there you go, little spin cast, great little outfit. Probably everyone should have at least one. You never know when your cousin's going to come over. Anyway, talk to you later. Hi everyone. I'd like you like to introduce you to my little friend here. Uh, this is a bait caster that we've talked about in class. I've recently purchased this. This is the hundred dollar outfit that I told you about. Reel and rod. I think the reel was like $35, the rod was like $75, it's close to $100. Anyway, some basic operation on this. I, I kind of warned you how these can be a difficult, frustrating instrument to use. One of the first things you have to know about this is that you have to balance this winch, this spool right here, with your lure. To do that, we have a spool release lever right back here. When I push on that, it releases the spool. As you can see, the lure drops. Each time you change lures, you have to readjust for that particular lure. The way you do that is on the side, you have a spool tension right here. And you can turn that 
clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the amount of tension on the spool. Over here, you have either controls for, for a magnetic brake. Sometimes these are a little computerized uh, braking system. Whenever you start out, I recommend that you bring this up to almost max. What that does is whenever you release that spool, it allows that the weight of your lure to, to drop. And so if I turn this up a little bit more, you can see how that really slowed that down. Whenever you're just getting started with your new bait casting outfit, dial that up a little, little high. Then as you gain a little bit more experience with it, you can start to back that off a little bit. When you start, when you make your first cast, I recommend sidearm. If we start to try to do a double-handed overhand cast like this, bad things will probably happen. Namely, we'll get that bird nest in the spool. But if we start from a sidearm, ah, that was nice. We can better control that cast and the physics involved with the spool and the loading of the rod and so on and so forth are so much more, what's the word, friendly uh, to us. Whenever we turn the crank, that engages the spool and starts to bring it back in. As you gain a little bit more proficiency, you can take and turn down the braking system and you'll actually end up with a little bit more distance with your cast. But remember, the most important brake on this reel is your thumb because no matter how you have everything set up, that thumb is still doing the majority of the work. That braking system is just trying to keep you uh, between the lines out of the ditches, so to speak. So. I really strongly urge you to, to give one of these more inexpensive reels. I used to be uh, afraid of bait casters because unless you were spending 100, 200 bucks for these, they were pretty crappy. But I'll tell you, some of these newer reels, the prices really dropped on them and I'm by no means an expert on bait casting reels. but. You know, for an old fly fisherman like me, I find this to be a lot of fun. So, anyway, I hope you're out on the water, hope you're catching some fish, hope you're enjoying the great outdoors and being safe. So, till next time, thanks a lot.